So, hello and welcome to the maybe last um, chapter of my tutorial. Because, let's see, I hold the introduction, we install PuTTY, we install the server with Debian Lenny, then we install ISPCP, then we clean the space by doing this rmrf command, and now we have to make some settings. So, um, what settings are those? So these settings are only interesting if you live in Germany. Then these settings, what I gonna do, are interesting. Else, they're not. So let's come to the point what these settings are. So well, as I said, it's only interesting for uh, these languages with ö, ü and something. And in their HTML documents, if they want to drag directly ü, ü and that and these things in, so uh, that uh, these signs are recognized. Go to your server, and then paste in what's in the description of this part. And then what you need to do is to go in. So you have to go in sla into so slash etc slash ini dot d slash apache two space stop then it's a top key and say start so now it's started so these are just the settings I wanted to show you or this is the setting I wanted to show you so Let's get into um, ISPCP. So log in at your domain that you gave in in the installation. G log in with your admin account. So let's do an experiment. Let's go on to winfreakonline.de. And you see there's um, a dash to log in that should be on CP and anything. So um, the secret is, if uh, so, the domain points to the server, but uh, the server says says I don't, I do not have um, files for this domain, or ex except for this domain. So as PCP says, come on, I show my admin logon, and this is what it does. So um, if you have more than one domain, no problem, but to get this working you have to go into ISPCP and go into manage user then you have to add a reseller so just drag there in whatever you want then I give them zero 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 for for unlimited traffic and anything you can limit it if, it if you want so let's say you just want that this reseller could uh, make three domains so you can limit this but as it's only my server and I want to create more than one domain um, I give it a limit and I and here on the reseller IP is just assigned uh, assign this one and uh, well click on that okay so I have to give it an email address so I give it my email address so um but well um so here here we have my password and anything for the reseller but I delete it because I never um go into reseller but just for the case that you want to hack me I just generate the password and then I click on update. Well, so now uh, if you go back to it, just log in. So, well, what you now have to do to uh, register this domain to your server, click a win freak or whatever your resellers call on switch, It'll automatically log on with it. Then go on back to manage users and go on to add user. Here you can um, enter the domain name winfreakonline.de in my case. Next step, 
so because um, this is my domain and I want to have the max out of my server I just give it everything and PHP CGE CGI um, I enable and I want that it backups full that means that um, it backups on the server in the um, in the um, you know in the directory backups, it backups everything um, of the domain. So all the files. Um, so if my server crashes or something, I can go into the rescue mode of the server and just down and just uh, enable an FTP service or something, and then da simply download my uh, files and databases from the night. Well, so I go to the next step. And password comes in. Well, email. I hit in my email address. And then I click on add user. So as you see, it's creating it. So I'll just go back to manage user. If there's a green of the thing just refresh it and you'll see it uh, should change well it changed look this is the default page for winfreakmansonline.de this page was created automatically via uh, ISPCP Omega please upload your own index HTML file so uh, what we do now so um, now we have to upload things to our home page, I think. To do this, go back to your ISPCP at, at winfreakmathonline.de, click on switch. So normally, uh, why I switch? Don't think that you ever have to log in with admin and switch, switch, switch. No, you can directly log in with the reseller and you can directly log in with the domain account. So that's why I'm doing that. But well, for this demonstration, if I'm in the reseller, it's quicker to click on switch than click in, log out, and log back in. So well, so here you have just a quick overview. So I make my browser full screen, I think. So now it should be full. So this is now full screen mode, and you see it's a real clear interface. Um. I can manage domains, so I can create subdomains. I can make email accounts. Um, I can make FTP accounts if I want to, and I uh, wa I can manage my MySQL. Then I have web tools like uh, e I like Webmail or oh come on, oh, man. Uh, I can easily back up everything well but what we want to do is we want to connect to the server to transfer files so we want to create an FTP account so we click on FTP account then we click on add FTP user and now be careful so the username um, I take one and then the password uh, is something really basic um, well, now I click on add. Um, now we 